So for step nine, attaching the rear differential gear, well, this is pretty much going to be the same as what we did in step seven. So we'll probably make this pretty quick, but uh, we'll put this on and then we'll grease up the gears. So again, let's do what we did before. We've got our two larger bearings, these BB1s, and we're gonna pop one onto there. We're gonna pop one onto the other side of that differential, just like that. This is now going to sit in there, just like that. And once again, I'm gonna grease up the gears by doing it all at once, simply by spinning this and putting oil here. So, or the grease here. So, let's do it. In fact, let's do it on the side. And what I like about doing it this way is just that it's greasing up everything at the same time and everything's in place. So you get to see that it's all working fine. And you see how you get the grease onto this gear as well at the same time. So that's looking good. Now I'm going to wait to do the spur gear because I don't I actually I don't like putting grease on everything and then it's open to the elements. I want to wait until I'm going to close everything up. So this one we know we're going to close up. So I'm happy to grease it up at this point. But there we go. I'll just for good measure just pop a little bit more in there. Don't need to. I think I've got enough in there but There we go. So you can see that part is done. So now we just have to put the cover on. So we're gonna grab the cover. So now with the cover, same idea. These are pointing now backwards towards the inside of the chassis. We're going to put that over top. And then we've got four screws that are gonna go on each end, just as we did before. So I'm just gonna get one in there. Get another one in there. And then I'll get another one. I so will put this one here. And the final one on the other side. Okay, so now I'm still gonna go back and forth, make sure that it all fits. Now the nice thing is, because this is now on, this isn't going anywhere. So, it's not going to fall out anymore. a bit more there we go just checking to make sure it's seated right seems to be so do this on the other side get it all the way in and lastly, we'll get this one in. All right, so now the rear differential is in. Now again, I'm just gonna grab our cups here, put them in, and just make sure everything works. So there we go, forward, and then the differential is nice and smooth. The anti-wear grease makes it kind of thick, but it's kind of interesting, so. But everything's working fine. So that's great. Don't need those anymore, we'll put them aside. So now we have our rear differential in place. So now we're gonna move on to step 10 and attach the rear upper arms.